Hey everybody, what is going on? I am 8Shots and holy cow, PlayStation has screwed up big time. They have accidentally released the worldwide reveal date for Call of Duty Vanguard that we're officially going to be seeing on August 19th at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time in Call of Duty Warzone. So it is going to be an in Warzone event just like we saw with Modern Warfare. Now I'm almost positive that sometime later today or tomorrow on Tuesday, Call of Duty is going to be making an official announcement saying when we're going to be getting the official event reveal update. And when we do, I'll be sure to update you guys here on the channel. But so far, all we know as of right now is that we're going to be seeing it on the 19th in Warzone. Now, in my opinion, over the last couple of days, you've been getting a bunch of teasers and tiny cinematic little clips showing us tiny glimpses into the World War II era that we're going to be going into. And to be honest, between Pawn Takes Pawn and this, I've been, pref I've been rather much preferring the tiny leaks and details we've been getting this time around this year than Pawn Takes Pawn. Pawn Takes Pawn was fun because it got the entire community together to group up and do this one big adventure quest online. But to be honest, for me, it just wasn't my slice of cake. It wasn't what I like to do. So I much rather prefer the teasers we've been getting here for Vanguard. Now the big question lies, what could the reveal actually be? Now, for the last couple of months, some leakers and data miners have found an uh, event in involving an armored train with a bunch of explosives on it. So that could have been either a scrapped event or something we're going to be seeing coming in with the numbers event. And it's somehow going to involve an armored train. We need to attack it or defend it or something. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, the Warzone train station has also changed quite a bit. There's new trains at the train station that look a lot different. And if you're in the station, you can also hear a woman's voice over the PA saying that the train is not going to be arriving to the station and is being put on hold. So I'm really interested in how they're going to do this, how they're going to incorporate the train somehow. People have also found, uh, data miners have also found leaks of like juggernaut-esque World War II type juggernauts. So I have no idea how that would work. For some reason in my mind, I'm picturing like a very old like Iron Man Mach 1 type suit. You know what I mean? Just an old metal clunky suit with maybe a couple like drapes of clothing over it. I don't know. That's just what I picture when I think of like World War II Juggernaut. Now, none of these have been confirmed. The armor train with the explosives or the World War II S type Juggernauts. But they could still be making their way into the event. And honestly, that would be a lot of fun. I could see this having the potential to be a lot more bigger than our first Warzone reveal was. Where it was just the nuke and we had to go like location to location picking up things. That was fun and all. I liked going in there with my team and doing that. But you really weren't doing much, let's be honest. Until you found Frank Woods at the end. And then you kind of just chilled there until the event counted down and it happened hopefully this one is a lot more interactive and we can fire weapons and just do more but like i said it does look like maybe they're later today or on tuesday call of duty is going to be making an official announcement on this i will keep you updated here on the channel but until then peace out guys